government business in February 2013 to promote collaboration towards implementing an inclusive growth strategy to support the National Development Plan. <coughs> Today's meeting assessed progress and implementation action plans in focus areas including education and skills development, infrastructure, labor regulatory environment, regulatory impact on investment, and inclusive growth. Five tax teams, co-chaired by government and business, updated the presidential working group on plans that have been developed and actioned initiated in the past eight, 15 months. Highlights include the following. Education and skills development. The skills and education task team is working to achieve socioeconomic development through a partnership that supports better quality education, youth employment, job creation, and the development of skills to meet the needs of the labor market. The task team also focuses on outcome four and outcome six of the medium term strategic framework. The task team identified the following areas of work. Scaling up work integrated learning and work based learning in order that learners can complete their studies. Supporting the SIPs, skills, needs, and pilot models that would demonstrate how working together, government and business could meet the skills needs of the infrastructure rollout. Work to ensure that entrepreneurship education is scaled up and its quality improved. Support the work being done by the National Development Collaboration Trust and other foundations supporting improved quality education. The infrastructure task team focused on measures to support the National Infrastructure Plan with specific focus on three priority areas. Firstly, establishing complementary measures to support new investment based on the improved provision of logistics, energy, and water. Two, increasing the levels of local procurement by supporting local production and infrastructure inputs. Three, assisting in assessing both the micro and microeconomic cost and benefits of infrastructure projects and recommending appropriate financing strategies and tariffs of producers on that basis. The task team highlighted the following as well, that government has updated the Presidential Infrastructure Coordinating Commission, PICC website, which will reflect high-level details of all strategic infrastructure projects that will be reflected on the website. Business will also review the work and provide feedback <coughs> on its experience and suggestions for improvement. The PICC will also host quarterly meetings with business to review the status of infrastructure being programmed, update business on new projects, and create a new forum, a forum for business to make inputs on overall infrastructure build program, linking to localization efforts in moving towards achieving 75% local content targets that have been set by government. Based on a review of these initiatives, business will prepare proposals on, amongst others, shared services models where municipalities without the necessary capacity can draw on a pool of skills to ensure infrastructure programs are planned, executed, and maintained. Models of infrastructure provision, operation, and maintenance which provide services on a fair and equitable <coughs> basis. Business will also continue to identify available skills within the private sector and develop a mechanism or model to mobilize such skills in support of this infrastructure being program. On the labor market, given the labor market environment, the task team focuses on the following priorities, to reduce workplace conflict and facilitate constructive labor relations, in particular by engaging with business and labor on skills development, <coughs> improve communication in the workplace, reducing inequality in the workplace, enhancing workplace labor cooperation, and improved labor regulation. Among the key actions for this task team is the creation of a social partnership between business and government with employment creation as the core objective and improving private sector job creation opportunities through regulatory efficiency.
efficiency and certainty for business. A further focus area is the promotion of workplace stability, democracy, and productivity to build business confidence and promote transformation in a workplace. And in Daba, on labor relations will be conveyed by the Deputy President, Cyril Ramaphosa, in the near future. On regulatory impact on investment, the task team has focused on improving engagement and trust with economic stakeholders on key areas of interest to identify blockages to production and employment. It has looked at how to further improve the systems and the capacity for assessing the impact on growth, investment and employment of proposed and existing regulations. Other main tasks include to reduce delays and unnecessary red tape around authorizations needed for investments and to work towards improving regulation and to reduce the burden of importing core and critical skills needed by the economy. On inclusive growth, to achieve this goal, the task team identified the following priorities, introducing interventions that support revitalization of township economies, industrialization through supporting local procurement targets, further catalyze the development of a local tablet computer industry and develop institutional structures to drive the implementation of this project. The task team believes that the following areas are critical interventions of raising the levels of economic <coughs> inclusion. One, introduction of a more balanced approach to spatial and economic development. Two, promoting industrialization and employment by identifying value chains that can be developed to increase procurement of locally produced goods. Three, modernizing education while at the same time developing the digital world in our country. To address this good spatial development, a government fund is being launched to support informal sector enterprises, especially in our townships. It was agreed that municipalities that needed support would be identified for which anchor companies could be identified. Synergies between the initiative and the back to basics a strategy are being pursued by the infrastructure task team to also be sought. In conclusion, the Presidential Business Working Group was very much encouraged by the progress made since the group first met in August 2013, but acknowledged that there were several issues on which government and business needed to keep engaging on. All stakeholders have agreed to keep working together in the interest of maintaining momentum in the implementation of the National Youth Development Plan and in the interest of securing the livelihoods and sustainability of our country's workforce and the business sector. Thank you. Thank you, Minister. Uh, last statement. Ready to take questions, Can you use, use the mic? Uh, I'm going from SABC. I've got three questions to the whole panel, if I can get a response from each of the constituencies. One, how confident are you that the measures that you've uh, agreed on today to boost economic growth um, have the potential to, to work and start uh, turning the current economic crisis around, at least in the short to medium term? And two, the issue of the uh, downgrade, the, the, the downgrade of the country by the um, credit uh, agencies. How worried are you that, uh, I, I mean, about the potential uh, threat that we may see further downgrades, uh, maybe in relation to the medium term budget statement? And lastly, when is the next meeting of, of this uh, presidential business meeting?
stakeholders still need to, to work on. Um, I think um, the other question is uh, the investment by the private sector uh, hasn't been that forthcoming. Uh, it's government that has been driving most of the uh, fixed cap uh, capital uh, investment. Um, what are measures uh, that uh, have been put in place uh, to ensure that also the private sector come forth and, and start investing? Thanks. Well, uh, let's share the, uh, the answers. We will ask uh, business to respond to the first question, how confident are we that these measures will turn the economy around, as well as the issue of the investment by the uh, private sector. And then I'll also ask uh, Zungu to deal with the issue of downgrade, because uh, he eloquently <coughs> elaborated on it. And the uh, Deputy Minister of DTI on uh, areas where we need more progress on. And those are the main questions. And then when is the next meeting? It should be in early 2015. So we'll start with uh, Mr. Marek. Um, on, on the question about how confident are we that, that, that this will quickly change the prospects of the economy, clearly all the issues that have been identified here are very important to eliminate blockages to enable the economy to grow, but most of these items are not things that can make a quick uh, impact. This is not a quick fix. This is. These are initiatives in support of the National Development Plan in very much resonating with what we heard from the Minister of Finance in his medium-term budget policy statement. Uh, so I think these are, are critical things for the long-term future of our country. They definitely are not things that can change uh, the growth rate of the country uh, tomorrow. So, but having said that, it's absolutely critical that we are doing this because in the process, it's also been interesting to me that um, whilst we've been working on, on, on a number of bigger issues in the task group, they've they also identified some immediate smaller problem areas which you can then address because you are meeting on a regular basis. So certainly as BUSA, we are very, very encouraged by the fact that there is regular interaction, that there will be a meeting, as um, Minister Fadeva said, uh, early in the new year to continue these uh, engagements because uh, through the, the meetings that are happening, in the task groups, um, there's regular interaction between senior people in business and, and in government. Um, so that was the one, the one question that was posed to me. The second one was um, investment by the, private the private sector and investment. And clearly, you know, the private sector is is, an, is not so, uh, something that you can look at as. As, as an entity, it's, it's made up of, of, of hundreds and thousands of businesses who make decisions about when to invest and where to invest at a particular uh, point in time. Uh, we think that it's clearly linked to business confidence. It's also linked to consumer demand. Clearly, uh, if there's a lot of demand um, out there, business will invest to satisfy that demand. As it turns out, in total, um, you know, we are not operating as a country at full capacity at the moment. So the demand that, that is there at the moment is, is not sort of requiring us to make new investments. So, so unless there are new opportunities that individual businesses see, they will tend to respond broadly to the overall level of global demand if they're exporters and, and domestic demands. And, and of course it's linked into business confidence and, and, and consumer confidence. So I think it's, it's, it's critical and I think it's, 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 it's very important what government is doing in the, in, 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 in the whole area of investment, infrastructure investment, uh, because that is counter-cyclical and, and therefore exactly what government should be doing and I think that, you know, they should be commended uh, for that. May I just add one thing? Sure. One of the measures uh, that, that have been adopted here is uh, to buy local and uh, to procure generally local. It's intended to, to deal with this issue of uh, capacity that uh, demand uh, for South African produced goods uh, is at a level that will create employment in the first instance, but also lead to the utilization.
utilization of our available capacity to its maximum and thereafter hopefully encourage a new investment. Just from the government side, uh, to indicate that uh, the reason the President convened this uh, business working group is to ensure that the issues of confidence and trust between government <coughs> and uh, business can be enhanced in order to ensure that uh, there are more investments that are put into the South African economy. As you know, that uh, more than 75% of our economy is in the hands of the private sector, both in the production and also in the employment. So it is absolutely critical for government, ourselves, to ensure that we create this conducive environment for investment to be made into the South African economy. So as we move forward, I'm sure we'll see a lot of improvement in the investment rate that we want to see in terms of the targets that have been laid out in the National Development Plan. But we're very confident that the more we ensure that the infrastructure built program is implemented effectively, I'm sure we'll see more and more investment into the South African economy. Uh, thank you very much. I think on, on areas of progress to date uh, for, from the working group, firstly, uh, is the stronger cooperation between government and business, which has been acknowledged. There is no partner that seems to think that uh, they, they want out of this partnership. So that's the first uh, very important pro progress. Secondly, it was a realization, uh, as you might note, that there is no labor involved in this engagement. We do, as government, engage with labor. That labor should play an important role into this particular uh, forum so that we can then ensure that all issues that are cross-cutting, then we begin to address all of them. The, 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 the third important area that uh, uh, is area of progress, in our view, is that we agreed on the focus approach on how we should implement projects, uh, be it projects around infrastructure, around industrialization, around education and so on, all the issues that we have identified here. And the, 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 the other progress that uh, we, we can talk about uh, quite firmly is the fact that we have agreed fundamentally that the program of radical economic transformation is a necessity given the socio-economic conditions in South Africa. So every partner has committed to ensure that we can implement that specific program. What we will do specifically at the level of government, one of the things that came out in, in the meeting was around uh, the agreement around designations, around set sites that we will have to work through National Treasury to ensure that they are implemented so that we can aid uh, the environment around SMMEs and so on. The, 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 the last issue uh, I think uh, that uh, is, is critical was, uh, was the acknowledgement that the issue of youth unemployment is very high. It is actually a ticking time boom, so all of us will have to work towards ensuring that we have concrete programs that begins to respond to that. Because currently the observation is that uh, the, the levels of unemployment with, uh, for the youth in particular is about 36%. So we have agreed that government and business will have integrated strategies to ensure that we deal decisively with issues of youth unemployment. Thank you very much. On the, on the issue of uh, downgrades, um, it, it's, it's important to note that uh, all of us um, will be deeply concerned about any further downgrade. Um, but there's a view that pertains that says the timing of the previous downgrade, which um, was affected by a standard and poor, um, could not have been removed from crushing labor strike we had in the Batman Belt. And therefore, to a large extent, it was influenced by what was perceived to be instability on the labor front. Um, and that notwithstanding, we do appreciate that um, any further upgrade, downgrade, will have a huge impact on our cost of borrowing, and therefore have a huge impact on the cost of doing business in South Africa. And particularly, we'll be worried about its impact on specifically ESCOM, which is out there in the market capital markets. If ever its specific company rating was to fall below in the uh, investment rate. Uh, so, what needs to be done is what is important. The infrastructure rollout gives a lot of confidence to the uh, ratings agencies. Greater dialogue between business and government, which is precisely what we are doing, gives us 
sense that uh, all the partners are working, partners are working together towards resolving much more complex issues, which include uh, labor, which include um, the, the effectiveness um, of particular agencies such as municipalities, uh, for example. We are confident that in the short term, uh, our rating grade is in safe hands. And working together, I think we can lift South Africa to these heights where we enjoy the best kind of rating, um, for example, in the, in the recent past. So, yeah, we, we, we are confident that um, the, the rating upgrade is not going to happen at any time.
our understanding as well that even labor is also concerned about this infrastructure strike. So it's a matter that needs cool heads, government, business, and labor in order to ensure that we come up with a solution that will be a win win situation for all. When are we going to be uh, implementing these uh, projects uh, right now? Because it's not like a, a report by business and by government. These are the joint task team, where the task team, co chaired by both business and uh, government, have agreed on all the things that were presented to government today. So we're very confident on the side that they were going to see results sooner rather than later. On Ebola, it was not discussed per se, but uh, as a uh, as, uh, in the point that uh, if you have this issue of Ebola, it also makes people to have perceptions about South Africa. Because many people around the world, they may not know how far South Africa is from West Africa. So it might uh, make them to take decisions of not coming as tourists to South Africa because of the fear of Ebola. It is for that reason that our government is deeply involved with the United Nations, with the World Health Organization, and also within the structures of SADA to put our shoulder in the wheel in order to ensure that we assist our African brothers and sisters in West Africa. I'm sure you've heard the Minister of Health indicating that we've got about 11 hospitals in South Africa in the ready in the event that uh, it should be needed. They are experts from South Africa that are collaborating in order to ensure that we play our role in assisting in the fight against these uh, diseases of Doctor, just to add uh, on the immediate and practical uh, steps that uh, based on the agreements. Look, I think the, the general uh, principle is that uh, between government, business and uh, we show even labor, the pursuit is on uh, inclusive growth and jobs. Uh, that, that, that is going to be the focus. So all the collective efforts will be to achieve exactly that. Uh, I'm sure you are not looking at us detailing each and every specific project, but we've already indicated some of the key sectors that uh, we're going to be focusing on, on in pursuit for inclusive growth and jobs, as, as stated. Thank you very much.